to describe the picture that was happening and unfolding in front of you. It has to be an amazing art because, I mean, to my knowledge, there's no school for this. Yeah. It's, it's a self-interpretive <laughs> art, really. It is. It's, it is. It's, it is. And that um, pressure that you're under. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine. No. What, the, 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 you the, probably the, try not to think about it. I mean, you, at, at you one do. point on the planet, yeah. Yeah. you have how many millions of people yeah. listening to your yeah. voice? Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's, it's interesting because we, we, could, we could spend half an sure, hour just sure. talking about this. I, know. I, I, I don't want to bore the viewers with it, but the interesting thing is we call it the greatest two minutes in sports, the Kentucky Derby. What people don't realize is from a track announcer's point of view, when I call the Woodford Reserve Turf Classic Grade 1, which is the race immediately before the Kentucky Derby, we then have a 90-minute gap. Now, I have, I have eaten, I have slept, I have breathed, I have lived the horses and jockeys right. in moving into the Kentucky Derby. For the, for the two weeks beforehand, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about those horses all the time. I know them, I have them in my head, and then I wait for 90 minutes before I can unleash from the gate, as it were, yourself, and, yeah. and you start to doubt yourself. That's the worst thing. You do, Interesting. Even, even though there's nowhere else on the planet Earth I would rather be right. than in that booth with that microphone around my head, ready with binoculars to go. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely terrifying. It is. And, and if it wasn't terrifying, you wouldn't do a good job. It's like right. how many of these programs that you've done, Kurt, it's exactly the same. If you didn't get that little bit of, a, a, a little bit of that in your spot, stomach your spot and, on. And, you, and, and that little bit of, on the back of your neck going, right, this is now a new show. I don't know what's going to happen. Right. I don't know where this is. I know, I know where, it, where it should go, right. but I'm not sure where it's going to exactly. go. With it. You have to be prepared for the unpreparable. And that's exactly the same with, with, with calling a race. I know 20 horses are going to leave that gate and one of them is going to pass the line in front and be heralded as the next superstar. What happens in that two minutes between gate and wire, you cannot be prepared for. Right.